Good evening, welcome to day 17. How's it going? 17 days in, if you're still doing this, this is pretty impressive, you're doing amazingly. This is called Ears to Hear. And it's got a really short verse from um, James chapter one, verse 22, and then we're gonna have a think about this and then pray together, if that sounds okay. James one, don't just listen to God's word, you must do what it says. Don't just listen to God's word, you must do what it says. Your ears are an amazing creation. They not only allow you to hear, but they also help with balance, and believe it or not, with taste. Your ears never stop working, even when you're sound asleep. Your ears work by capturing sound waves in the outer ear, which is called the pinna. That's the part of the ear that you can see. Sound waves funnel down into the middle ear where they turn into vibrations and then they travel to the eardrum. From there they flow into the cochlea which is located in the inner ear. Next, the sound waves go to the brain which puts everything together and tells you what you're hearing. Your hearing is a great gift from God, but what you do with it, what you, what you do with what you hear is your gift back to God. Let me say that again because I can't read properly. Your hearing is a great gift from God, but what you do with what you hear is your gift back to God. Jesus said it this way, everyone who hears these things I say and obeys them is like a wise man. The wise man built his house on rock. It rained hard and the water rose. The winds blew and hit that house, but the house did not fall because the house was built on rock. But the person who hears the things I teach and does not obey them is like a foolish man. The foolish man built his house on sand. It rained hard, the water rose and the winds blew and hit the house and the house fell with a big crash. Don't let your life come crashing down like that foolish man's house. Listen to God. How? Through reading his word, through listening as others teach it, through listening to the Holy Spirit as he reminds you of the things God has said. And after you listen to God's word, do what it says. Now, just before we pray, I want you to press pause and I want you to ask the person who's doing this with you, do they listen to God? And do they always do what he says? What do they think? Ask them about this. Let me read it to you again. How do we hear God? Through reading his word, the Bible, through listening to others as they teach it, actually through lots of different ways, but also through listening to the Holy Spirit as he reminds us of the things that God has said. Have a chat about that. And then here are my, here is not, it's not mine. Here is the interesting fact for the day. Three bones make up the ear, the malleus, incus, and stapes. These are also known as the hammer, anvil, and stirrup. They are the smallest bones in the human body. So small, in fact, that all three of them could fit on a single penny. I want us to pray a bit differently this evening, if that's okay. In a moment, I'm gonna press start on this, and we are gonna be silent, completely silent, for a full minute. And what we're gonna do is say at the beginning of this minute is, Father, would you please teach us to listen to what you're saying and help us to do what you say. And then we're gonna listen for a whole minute, which is gonna feel like forever. And you are gonna get ants in your pants like I will, but it's a, how we learn, I guess. Okay, so let's pray, and then I'll give you a minute. Father, we would all like to learn to hear you better as we read the Bible through all sorts of different ways, and we would love, Holy Spirit, for you to keep whispering to us and teaching us. So please teach us to be people who listen. Train us now, I ask, in Jesus' name. Amen. There we go, minute. How did that go? How did that feel? Feel like ages? One of the things I find really helpful in praying is to practice being still and listening. You might wanna give it a go. 
Thank you so much for joining me. Catch you again soon. See you. Bye.